Good morning guys, Tony Maritato here, licensed physical therapist, and in this video I want to talk to you about one of the common secondary problems that might occur after a total knee replacement, and it's ankle pain. So quite a few clients following their knee replacement will start to experience some soreness, some discomfort, some pain throughout the ankle, and I want to share a little bit of information in this video about why that might happen and what you can do to possibly resolve it, talk to your physical therapist about it, and get some treatment ideas. But basically what happens is we have to first understand the anatomy of the ankle and how the ankle influences the knee, how the knee influences the ankle. So the anatomy of the ankle is we have these two bones. You've got these bumps on either side of your ankle. One is associated with the tibia, which is the main shin bone that comes up into the knee. The outside bump is associated with the fibula, and that's the long skinny muscle that runs along the outside. The tibia is actually intimately involved in the knee replacement. But what happens is when I walk, when I go through a normal walking cycle, my ankle has to flex and extend. It's called plantar flexion dorsiflexion. So when my ankle is flexed back, when it's pulled back into this position because my body is going forward, the fibula and the tibia actually spread apart just a little bit to allow that ankle to move up and down. After your knee replacement, most clients are limited in terminal knee extension, meaning the knee isn't going fully straight. And so what happens is it keeps the tibia in this kind of slightly flexed position. Well, that automatically means that I've got more stress across the front and a little bit more on the outside front of the ankle. These two bones have to separate a little more in order for me to bring my body over the center of gravity to, to walk forward. So it's really common that after a knee replacement, patients will report increased soreness, stiffness, not in the center, but on the outside center of the knee. Some patients will experience some pain down around the outside of that lateral bump, the peroneal um, muscles, peroneal nerves run through there, peroneal tendon, losing words today. It's too early in the morning. Anyway, um, but the whole idea here is we want to try and regain some mobility through the ankle while we continue to work on the extension, getting to zero, getting full extension through the knee. And one of my fav favorite ways to work on ankle mobility is a simple calf stretch. Now, I love the half foam roll because it's contoured, it's a little bit squishy, a little bit soft. I could do it in bare feet, I could do it in shoes. It's really versatile, it's light, it's inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below this video. But basically, what I recommend to all of my patients is to work on foot and ankle mobility after your knee replacement, even before your knee replacement. So the simplest way to do this, if I have a half foam roll or if I have a small riser, it could be a little block of wood, it could be a wedge. I've got other videos showing you a really inexpensive wedge that we use. Um, anything you have that basically allows the front of the foot to be higher than the heel of the foot for a passive static stretch. And so the way we're gonna do it, I put for me, I put the ball of the foot kind of at the top of the dome I allow the heel to stay on the ground. We're gonna do this in two directions. So one is with the knee extended to the full range of motion that you have available. I bring my body over, I bring my hips forward, and I allow the lower extremity to relax. What I've noticed is that some patients have a tendency to wanna to push down like they're pushing on the accelerator. We wanna actually flex the ankle while we stretch, like we're taking off the pressure from the accelerator. So my knee is straight, center of gravity is forward, and I'm actually pulling back on the, the big toe and the top of the foot to feel a passive stretch anywhere behind the lower leg, maybe behind the knee. We'll hold this position, however you, long you like to hold stretches, 30 seconds, a minute, whatever works for you. And then I do a second position where I actually bend the knee just a little bit as I lean into the cushion. Now, again, I am still trying to pull my toes up and back as I'm leaning forward. What this is doing is stretching a deep muscle called the soleus. The superficial muscle is called the gastrocnemius. The deep muscle is the soleus. 
but we're also working on allowing that tibia and fibula to spread apart just a little bit. It's a different stretch. You will not feel this bent knee position behind the knee like you do when the knee is straight. But the idea is in both cases, we're trying to create separation. Now, the third version of this and the final version I'm gonna cover in this video is we want a little bit of motion with the stretch. So whether I'm doing the bent knee stretch or the straight knee stretch, I get into it and then I twist just a little bit so that I'm not sure that it's picked up on the video, but so that I can get this area right in here to kind of open and close. Because when I'm walking, what's really happening is I put my foot down and my pelvis rotates as my body translates forward. So we want that rotation. A natural knee has a, a, a rotation component that's rarely discussed, but it's important for locking and unlocking knee extension. Most replacements don't have the rotation component, some do, but the idea is your ankle, your knee, your hip for your entire life has been designed to rotate as well as flex and extend. So we wanna bring as natural of a motion back into the mobility work as we can. So whether you're doing a straight knee, a gastroc stretch, a bent knee soleus stretch, you wanna include some sort of trunk rotation, hip rotation with the stretch to bring back natural motion to the, the front of the ankle and spread the tibia and fibula. Now, if you work on this, it's awesome. It might help reduce some of your pain. It might improve the mobility of your ankle, but ultimately as you get back to full knee extension, the ankle pain will most likely resolve on its own. So talk to your physical therapist, talk to your surgeon. If the ankle pain is frustrating and annoying, they'll have other strategies for you to manage the symptoms while you get to knee extension. But at the end of the day, full knee extension will most likely resolve those issues. Guys, as always, I know this was a longer video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.